Hey guys, this is Kevin Cody Fitness, and uh, I know New Year's is here, and a lot of people's New Year's resolutions is that they're going to get in shape. And the biggest thing, especially after the holidays, all the eating of Christmas, New Year's, uh, is to lose uh, body fat. You know, people want to put on a few pounds throughout the year, and especially around the holidays, and they want to drop some weight. And um, now, a lot of people kind of just go into the process of starting a new program or you know their New Year's resolution to lose weight um, without putting much thought into it, without really knowing what to do. Um, they don't seek out the advice of a personal trainer or, or, or a fitness coach. Um, and this can be a mistake, um, but a lot of times you, you, gotta, you gotta know where your information is coming from anyway. A lot of times you can hire a personal trainer it could be totally, totally worthless. You know, you could be spending you know, lots and lots of money and getting horrible advice. Um, so, so be very careful when you do this, uh, if you do go that route. But what I wanted to do in this video was to give you guys who, who either don't have the inclination or don't really want to spend the money to hire a personal trainer or to hire a fitness coach, just some tips, some basic, basic tips that you can use to design your own personal uh, fat loss program. Okay guys? Uh, so remember, the goal, uh, these tips are all going to be about to help you lose weight. So the first thing you have to understand is that the key to fat loss is to create a calorie deficit. At the end of the, at the, end of the day, what matters most is that you are burning through more calories than you're consuming each and every day. So how do, how do you best do that? Um, Optimally, you do it through a combination of diet and exercise. Now, you can do it um, through just diet, and you can do it just through exercise, but it's going to be a much longer process. You know, it takes a long time to, to really lose a significant amount of weight to begin with, if you have a significant amount of weight to, to lose. You know, if you have to lose 5 pounds, okay, you know, you can do it in a month. But if you have to lose 20, 30, 40, 50 pounds, it's going to take time, guys. It's going to take a long time. Um, don't forget that weight did not come onto your body overnight. So it's not going to come off overnight. It's going to take months and months of hard work. And, and, and if you have a, you know, if, let's say you have 100 pounds to lose, um, it's probably going to take a year or more. Um, so just remember to stick with it every day and be in it for the long haul. So, you know, to most optimally create that calorie deficit, you want to diet and exercise. Um, and I get a lot of questions, you know, oh, what kind of cardio should I do? Should I use the elliptical machine? Should I go jogging? Should I ride a bike? Should I go swimming? Uh, guys, the best form of cardio for you is a form of cardio that you're going to go in there and do, you know, day in and day out, you know, or week in and week out. You know, you don't have to work out every day. That's ridiculous. But, you know, the, the form of cardio that, that you can bear, if you hate to go running and you have a personal trainer, or you start a program on your own and you say, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to run four times a week. I'm going to go jogging. You're going to quit in a couple weeks. You're not going to stick with it because you hate it. But on the other hand, if you love to ride your bike, um, and, but you, should, you know, choose to do that form of cardio. Um, riding a bike is a great form of cardio. Swimming, jogging, you know, whichever one you like to do, guys. Um, one thing I do want to, one, one quick caveat I do want to say is that if you're in the gym, do understand that um, the calorie counts on the machines are way off. Do not believe them whatsoever. If you want to go in there and pick a, a calorie goal for the machine to, to tell you, let's say you want to say, okay, I'm going to burn 500 calories, that machine's off. Okay, you didn't really burn 500 calories. That's perfectly fine to set that as a goal so that you know what you're doing. Um, you know, with each exercise session, so you, you, you kind of bring the same amount of calories every exercise session, but don't believe that, that what that machine is telling you is accurate. I mean, studies have shown that they're off by up to 50%, especially ellipticals. Ellipticals uh, test it out the worst. The, the most accurate are the, the bikes in the gym, so just keep that in mind, guys. And when you are on the treadmill or you are on a stair stepper um, or even the elliptical, um, avoid leaning forward. On, on the uh, on the machine on the bars, a lot of people get on the stair stepper and get tired and start leaning forward, and you're just burning less calories, guys. 
Um, another, uh, another common mistake that people make is to not lift weights, you, you know, when you're trying to lose weight. Uh, you should always be doing some kind of resistance training, whether, uh, you, you know, if, if you're a woman just doing the circuit on the machines, or um, if you're a guy and you've been lifting weights, keep lifting hard and heavy. Uh, a lot of people make the mistake of um, lifting less or getting into the, uh, falling into the myth of high reps to cut, uh, low reps to bulk. Uh, that's, that's a myth, guys. You want to keep lifting hard and heavy. If you're going in there and, and, and doing, you know, let's say you're squatting sets of, uh, I'm just going to pull numbers here, you know, you're squatting 300 pounds for, for sets of eight, keep, keep squatting 300 pounds for sets of eight and keep trying to progress. Don't say, okay, well now I'm going to start squatting 250 for sets of 12 or sets of 15. You know, you don't want to drop your weight down, guys. You really don't. You know, high reps for cutting uh, and, and, and low reps for bulking is, is, is a total mistake. What, what really is going to get you to show those muscles is not doing, you know, uh, high reps with weight exercise, but just losing weight in general. Um, another important thing to keep in mind, guys, uh, especially when it comes to diet, is you want to make sure every day you're you're creating that calorie deficit through your diet. You you want to know what you're putting into your body. What I found to be the most effective means to do this is to simply track your calories. Now, if you want to pick um, a set amount of carbohydrates, proteins, and fats that you want to eat on a daily basis, if you're really serious and you're a hard training male, I, I would highly recommend that. Um, you know, keep, keep your carbs as high as possible so you can train hard. You know. Um, you know, get a gram or even a little bit more than a gram of protein per pound of body mass when you're cutting down. Um, now, if you're a, a, a female, um, you might not have to do that. Or if you're not a very hard training um, uh, as, as a male, you, you might not have to get specific with how much carbs, protein, fat you're going to eat every day. Just track your overall calories. Um, I, I have found that to be most effective for myself. I found that to be most effective for my clients. Um, if you don't know what's going into your body every day, you don't know if you're creating that calorie deficit. Um, you know, you can be at maintenance one day, you can be in a calorie deficit the next day, and you can be above your above maintenance calories uh, the following day if you're really not keeping track of what you're eating and how many calories you're putting into your body. And what that ends up doing is um, you're going nowhere. You're losing a little, little bit of fat one day, you're staying right where you are the next, and then you're, you're putting on that same amount of fat um, on the third day. So you, you balance out and you lose nothing. And a lot of times, um, th this I find to be a big reason why people fail um, in their programs and give up. is because they don't see themselves getting results. They, they say, oh, you know, I'm eating healthy, I'm eating good, uh, I, I'm not eating as much junk. Um, but, but I'm not losing weight, so it's not worth it. You know, I'm putting all this effort in the gym, it's not worth it. Well, it, if you don't know what you're putting into your body, you're not accurately tracking, you know, how much you're eating, um, then that could be the biggest short circuit in your, in your routine, uh, excuse me, in your program. Um, so it's very important to track your results, uh, track what you're eating, you know, weigh yourself. I recommend weighing yourself every day, taking an average at the end of the week, and then comparing averages. And you know, this helps balance out water weight uh, if you ate a lot of food the day before, etc. Um, now, safe body, uh, safe weight loss is typically uh, recommended about half percent to one percent of your overall body weight every week. So, if you're a 200 pound male, you know, you can lose between one to two pounds uh, per week, and that, and that's safe, guys. So. Um, you know, again, just to go over to, to the main points, guys, create that calorie deficit, do whatever cardio you like, keep training hard in the gym, track your calories, know what's going into your body so you make sure you're in a calorie deficit week in and week out, track your results on the scale, and be as accurate as you can uh, with your portion sizes. Um, I, I recommend the use of food scale as you've seen in my other videos and you know I use the my fitness pal program there's other ones out there you can use so guys I hope these tips uh, help you put together a good program and help you get on track to making 2014 uh, the year where you create your new body and build your build a great physique thanks guys if you like the video
click like, please do subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or comments, I'm more than happy to answer. Thanks, guys.